Welcome to the podcast. I'm Max. I'm Ben. And I'm May, and we were had. Can you believe it? <laughs> there are twists and there are turns. Defleshed is a standard deck. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We were had. We were. This podcast brought to you by Bunny Coffee. Yeah, it is. Bunny Coffee. Always only 100% single origin coffees, no BS blends. From Oaxaca. Are you mm. impressed that I knew is how that to how you pronounce, pronounce that? that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly that's right. Impressive. <laughs> that's yeah. impressive. Um, the ad read told us exactly how to pronounce it, but thank you. There was a transliteration there was. in the we were, ad read. We were had listeners get 10% off with the code uh, bunnycoffee.com backslash WWH10. Wow, and experience high elevation premium Oaxacan coffee at its best. Oaxaca. Oaxacan <laughs> coffee. <laughs> At its best. We've got here Single Origin Sierra Norte, which is just one of the many options. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Their current featured coffee producer, Enrique Lopez. You know him. Oh, everybody oh, knows him. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Finca Shalin, the farm. You know this one. Um, it's known for its innovative natural processes and its cocaine mill in the back. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, something to think about. Something to think about. Support local business. Support we were had by a box of coffee. Yes, which I have now turned away from the camera. So <laughs> y- there you go. Bunny coffee backslash WWH10. Thank you. This is the finger gun seat now. <laughs> I like cod past. Cod, pa- cod, cod past. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's great. rich. That is rich. So today on the podcast, we are talking about the infamous case of Dr. Crippen. Dr. Crippen. Mm-hmm. That I will- is a mean name. It is a mean name, and I will be honest with you guys, I copied and pasted a article about this, so I will be reading this for the first time as well. <laughs> From one, <laughs> so we have one article. Two. Two? Two <laughs> articles. Are we going to, is it group? like cut and pasted in, or are we going to like... Oh, it's a cut and paste. No, 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 I know, I yeah. know cut and paste. <laughs> now, when I mean, you say cut and paste, do you mean it's cutted, <laughs> and then it's also pasted? Is that what you mean? That is what I mean. Okay, yes. I <laughs> slaved all morning over this research. Um, that you haven't read. I couldn't even read it. <laughs> how, was, how was your weekend? Oh, it was wild. <laughs> it was wild and crazy. I did not do stand-up this weekend intentionally to t- try to like take a break. And yeah. what ended up happening is I took shrooms and was blackout drunk for 48 hours. Yeah. So. It was a bit much. Yeah. The group chat this whole weekend. We're like, I'll see you at the show, guys. Like me. Ben and, Jay. and then I'll, every 10 minutes, May would be like, boy, am I hot. <laughs> <laughs> She just keep checking in and be like, "Damn, I am high." <laughs> it was wild. I went to Tao, ironically. And that's not ironic. That's with the the big Buddha. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, this would be so funny if we yeah. go to Tao, ironically." Right. And then you know, two hundred and fifty dollars later, you're like, "What? Well, that was the it's most expensive bit. joke." This is such a good bit. <laughs> it was. It was even sadder when we spent the same amount of money doing it ironically at Margaritaville. Oh my god, <laughs> that sucked. That was. Bad. This is a hot take. Margaritaville, not a good restaurant. Nah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're not going there for the food. Yeah, I don't know. We might get some hate from parrot heads, but I'm not. <laughs> not no, a fan. A cheeseburger, not a parrot head. Let <laughs> me tell you that. <laughs> um. All right. So we get into the story. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear about the doctor. I was just catching up, but all right. Let's do the. Thing. <laughs> let's do the topic. All right. The year is 1893. Mm-hmm. It's a long ass fucking time ago. So Holly Harvey Crippen. He married his second wife, Cora Turner, in Jersey City, New Jersey. Um, Mm. Seven years later, in 1900, they moved to London. And he was employed as a representative for Munyon's Remedies, a company making homeopathic remedies, while Cora, using the name Belle Elmore, had aspirations to be a music hall artist. Unfortunately, she had no talent whatsoever. Yikes. That is what the article said. And they were not holding back. (laughs) It's harsh. Uh, so Who's yeah. this mustachioed fellow? I think this is the doctor. This is Doctor Crippen. And people didn't mm. know he was a murderer immediately. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, if you're if you're not seeing this on the YouTube, this man, I mean, he looks got the bulging fish eyes. He you know, looks bad. This, also, it's an evil mustache. It is. And yeah. look at the eyes; they're not quite right. No, no something's off. Also, uh, if you're not listening on the on the YouTube, please do that and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. Also, yeah, and and maybe go back to the Apple Podcast app. Leave five reviews. Five reviews. Five reviews. All five we want stars. five reviews. Five one want... star reviews add up to one five star review. 
Okay. Oh, that's funny. So, in fact, neither Belle nor Cora um, was the real name of his wife, of Miss Crippen. So she had been born, oh my God, I'm going to butcher this, Kunigundi, <laughs> Kunigundi um, Makamotsky. That was racist. No. I, I don't know against who, but. Yeah. <laughs> She what was nationality is that? Russian and Polish. Uh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I thought I that, know. Uh, that sounded like Can an I see African name when you were Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. Yeah, geez, do you mind if I see that? that out. Can I take a look? Oh, fucking Russian Joe. No, there. I'm just curious because it. <laughs> Kunigund? Oh. That, yeah. no, that's. Huh. Can Happy. we see her? That's her. Wow. Wow. Look at that hat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rotund. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. I think that was hot back then. When was, when was this? 1900. That's hot. Mm-hmm. Is it hot? Okay. I mean, at the time. Yeah. And now, when did it go out of style, <laughs> huh? What happened? The 90s. <laughs> um. <laughs> the 90s. <laughs> the 90s, yeah. I think people really started just not eating. Anorexia. Yeah. Was that big. Really the 90s? Hot. No. That yeah, standard like, started way before then. The 80s, maybe? When did it? When was the thing like when, like, the oh. I think it was the early 2000s, like models and actresses? Like, heroin you chic. You could see their whole bones. Yeah, remember Heroin Chic, though? That was 90s. You remember Heroin Chic? Oh, I do. We all do like heroin to be chic. But I mean, like, <laughs> come on. A- Audrey Hepburn, like, some of the, like, prettiest, That's considered true. prettiest people from way back when were all oh, very, but there were very also thin. a lot of, like, va, va, boom, like, va, da, da, da. Yeah, like, I know exactly yeah. what you're saying. Marilyn but Monroe was humongous at 119 <laughs> pounds. But people, but that's the thing. People even then would say that she was big. Well, like, she was big. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, that was when already was, a standard. When was Betty Boop? When, was when Betty? did they make Betty Boop? Born <laughs> 19. In Des Moines? Betty Boop's got to be old. Right? Betty Boop, and she's still doing the damn thing. And she's oh. God bless her. She's hot. Yeah, no, Betty, Betty Boop, Boop fucks. Oh, she fucks. Quite a, a lot of sex appeal for a cartoon. Uh, way too sexy of a cartoon. Yeah, very sexy. There very are many. <laughs> car- no, not many. Just start <laughs> listening. No, Lola no, no. Bonnie. Barbie. Lola. The true moo cow? Do you know about this? Oh, the true moo. What's the green that? M&M? Before oh. they made her ugly? No, the green m M&M, and M. I I mean, she was just loose. <laughs> uh-huh. But uh, Je- uh, so Jessica Rabbit, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Lola Ooh. Bunny is the Space Jam one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that sure. true moo cow was a freaking I mean Were there I, any was she vixen. the eyelashes? She was the cow with eyelashes. Yeah, yeah. but she had yeah. a huge dumper. <laughs> like, huge, like tiny waist. Can big we pull up cheese. the true moo? <laughs> I think it's true moo. Or it's true like it's cow. at least like, Baby Bell? No, it's not Baby Bell. It could be like the skinny cow or something. I don't know. There's a cow that's like very sexy. <laughs> That's all I know. Type in uh, ad cow that fucks. I I uh, I remember I messaged this cow to Mark once, and he goes, "I want to get behind that thing." <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I I don't know this one. I, I like the dump for the, I mean the suspense here. So a lot of hot female cartoons. Any good looking male cartoons? Is this a trap? Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean. Mr. Crab. Oh, but Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Crab. Mr. Crab. I like a guy with money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mr. Clean is a man. He's a... Oh, he is. Yeah, no, what? this can't Whoa, be real. Whoa, that's insane. <laughs> that's not right. Well, no, that has a face. That's not an actual thing. <laughs> that's yes. actually, that is the Titanic pose, no? The, yeah, paint yeah, me like one is. of your skinny cows. <laughs> yeah. Mark was like, this is the hottest fucking cow I've ever seen. There's another cow I'm thinking of, though. It might also be a skinny cow just in a different position where she's like bending. <laughs> I swear what to God. What do you think you want? You live in the wrong state. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, this poor woman's photo really <laughs> sent us somewhere dark. <laughs> you know what? That's really mean that we thought of hot cows. We saw this woman. <laughs> no, no. It took a few steps <laughs> to get there. That's not true. That's that wasn't true. right away. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, so this lady, wow. I have no idea how to say her name. We have to just call her K from here on out. Yeah, okay. Special K. All right. So, she was the daughter of a well, Russian. Do you have other aliases? Why don't we use one of them? Bell, <laughs> That's Bell true. Bell. Yeah. Bell. Okay. <laughs> Cora. We'll call her Cora. Uh, she was the daughter of a Russian Polish father and a German mother. She was also um, a most overbearing and dominant character. Okay. I'm clocking her as so, a dominatrix type. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, that's not, she's no cow. Let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> Skinny cow will tie you up. You know, I lived with the dominatrix for a, a minute. 
Who? As a roommate? As a roommate, yeah. Uh, she was this girl. She moved here from San Francisco, and she, like, tried to build an audience here, and, like, people, like, weren't interested in her services. It was just, like, That's dark. kind of a bummer. Yeah. yeah. she have all the, like, equipment and stuff in the apartment? Like yeah. the tits and the ass? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she didn't. The she didn't have the them chains. come over, so she went to a place that had like bodyguards at the place. So she didn't like, even have her own equipment. I mean, uh, the, no, I think I the think pleather she budget it. alone yeah. puts you under. <laughs> she, yeah, it's like going to a golf course <laughs> and renting the clubs. <laughs> yeah. I, excuse me, while um, I blow my nose. I have allergies. Go oh for it. Oh my gosh, I haven't been sick in a minute, two minutes. Even. You're sick all the time. You're okay. sick. Of, yeah. Okay. Um, sick of the head. <laughs> Weak. She means weak. Yeah, yeah. She called me a pussy. <laughs> but no, I think that she went to like a specific location where she like rented out with other dominatrixes, basically. So she would, ha- she would. It's like a podcast studio. She would be in the in the like studio, a WeWork. right? Yeah, it's like a content house. Yeah, a content house. <laughs> yeah, she's just whipping and stepping on people's fucking balls and shit, or whatever. That's great. Uh-huh. Why'd you leave? What? Oh, you moved in with your boyfriend. Okay, I moved in with my. Why boyfriend. would you ever yeah. leave that <laughs> sweet yeah. deal? <laughs> <laughs> It was actually kind of a bummer, though, because she couldn't get enough clients, so then she had to work at Trader Joe's, too. And oh. I was like, oh, man. You know what? You always assume the Trader Joe's girls are doing that. Right. Yeah. And it turns out. <laughs> when they're ringing the bell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're ringing my bell. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> nice girl. Um, okay, so she was. So this lady was a overbearing and dominant character, which probably just means like a regular person. But in those times, they're like, "This yeah. woman's demanding things of me." This woman's <laughs> got opinions, and I'd like her to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. She it definitely says, got opinions on hats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this article is so funny. It goes her long-suffering husband supported her ambitions to be first an opera singer, and when that didn't work out, a singer in the music hall. But she had very little success. Wow. This person hates You're this just lady. ripping on this yeah. woman. I love it's a story this about a male. Time. <laughs> it's a story about the murderer, and he just can't stop He's attacking like, this. Sucks. He hasn't <laughs> mentioned her murder yet, has yeah. he? No, not yet. Oh, she's the victim. She's the victim. All right, let's keep going. Is she, or is everyone around her the victim? It sounds like it. <laughs> it's like, did he write it? And just trying to it make it seem like, like she wrote. Wrote. You know what? Yeah. She should die. Yeah. She had it coming. <laughs> the victim was overbearing. It <laughs> says all she did. Um, all she did manage to get out of her career in quotation marks. This person Oof. hates this person. Uh, was a few show business friends in the position of treasurer of the Music Hall Ladies Guild in, Gund- in London. So mm-hmm. she has a few things, whatever. So September 1905. So this is they've been married now for like almost 10 years, I guess. And the, wow. but they've been living in London for five years. Dr. Crippen and his wife took a lease on 39 Hilldrop Crescent in Holloway, England, I guess. Um, part of thinking, part of the thinking behind this move was that the pair could mm-hmm. now have separate bedrooms. So I guess they like That's exciting, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> that might be for the time, right? Separate bedrooms, 1905. Why yeah, would they, you want separate bedrooms? I, no, I'm just saying, isn't that... that Why that do you and thing. Rachel not want to share a bedroom? <laughs> Tell me that. That's not how it works. <laughs> she sleeps Ra- in the bedroom, I sleep on the couch. <laughs> and we have a second bedroom. <laughs> you just, you're more comfortable on I'm the I'm just couch. more comfortable, I just like... Couches. You guys just have two twin beds next to each other in the same room. Yes. That's, they're both reading little books. I really like that idea. <laughs> My that grandma, who was She's single, there too? <laughs> no, 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 she, um, she slept on two twin beds Push together. Was that is that just that's a, a generational thing? thing? Legally that's speaking, a thing. that's a mega bed. It's it was too <laughs> it's a, right. <laughs> that's a technical term. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's, that's, that's all I got. That's I was you a little, <laughs> where did your grandpa sleep? <laughs> My grandpa they were divorced, but they uh, were very close to each other. I didn't even realize they were divorced until like years later. What do you mean? Oh. They just like hung out? They like hung out as if they were still married. <laughs> I always sick. thought, well, I thought that when people got older that they, because I knew they had separate apartments and I just thought that that's what happened, that you stay you, married and then, but you just kind of, oh, after 20 funny. or 30 years of marriage, you just live Move separately. Yeah. I kind of like that plan yeah, actually. That's actually that's sick. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes when Mark goes away on the weekends, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's healthy. You shouldn't unpack that at all. <laughs> It would be bad if I agreed with you because yeah. I've lived with my girlfriend now for exactly five days. <laughs> I you need a fucking break. It would be like, yeah, that would not be good. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Okay, so sorry about this. We're going back to the story. So September 1905, Dr. Crippen and his wife took a lease on this house. Um, and part of the, yeah, they had separate bedrooms. Um, Belle n- had never been a sexual person. This like This, this is wild. <laughs> This is who crazy. is this article? What 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 is this in this? It's article? like a British his history diary. article. Oh, okay. It's his diary. Which is, I feel like British people like, I don't know. They They're are snarky. Sh- they are snarky yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they also blame a lot of stuff on women a lot. <laughs> is that 
Is that a weird assessment? So you're saying <laughs> that the the British they just know the truth. Is what oh, you're saying. They, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they don't have, have any sort of PC culture <laughs> holding them down. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Queen just had her jubilee. Oh, she met with Paddington. Who's the bear. Paddington? Really? Oh, yeah. that's cute. Huh. I don't think these th- these people. <laughs> the, what is what's going on? That can't be a real thing. It's a real thing. I was out there almost for the jubilee. But that's I ridiculous. wish I had been there for the it's, jubilee. It's oh, yeah, insane in the year of our Lord 2022. <laughs> that they have this monarchy and he's, she just met with a, a cartoon bear. I love it. I think it's adorable. You don't think that's adorable? I love that. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? You like it? About the kings and queens? I mean, so many countries still have kings and queens, right? Does anybody have a king and queen that actually do anything? No, I don't think so. Well, I don't know. Probably. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Monaco? Monaco. We'll <laughs> Monaco. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's like <laughs> Saudi Arabia, right? You got a king? Like a prince? I feel like I've heard of like prince of... Saudi I think Arabia. they have actual power. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what are the sheiks? That's a religious. Um, okay, let's not group. go down this path. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm about to laughs> In India, I think, right? Uh, you yeah. know what? I actually think it's weirder to have figureheads, to have no power. That's weird. Be- yeah. Yeah. To actually have them have power, that, okay, that's just your form mm-hmm. of government. Mm-hmm. But to have them have yeah. no power, it's like, why are we. Well, they're are literally we just celebrities. They're celebrities. Right. Yeah. yeah. We have the Kardashians. They're fun. I love how Harry and. <laughs> um, Megan. Megan. They just left it to become a different type of celebrity. They're the worst. <laughs> yeah. Can I be honest with you? I like I'm not like one of these people who like supports the moniker or anything, but I do not like that couple. I just don't like the cut of their jib. <laughs> that's that's and, the boss in it. You don't turn your back on family. Yeah. <laughs> and then they just show up to their grandma's fucking jubilee like nothing happened. Oh, they were at the jubilee. They were at the wow. jubilee and then they walked out and they got a bunch of boos. Good. Wow. People booed them and I said I would have been in the front row saying, Boo, you can't come to your grandmother's jubilee. <laughs> You embarrassed us in front of Paddington Beer. Yeah. Yeah. You made a fool. You made a fucking mockery out of your grandmother. Face throwing eggs at them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just pissed. Her cold, hard boiled eggs. And you know she really hates yeah, them. Yeah, she really she hates them because she would not want to waste those. She never yeah, waste it. I don't waste those hard boiled eggs. They're pretty fucking good. Mm-hmm. Especially when they're in like all that weird liquid. Stop no. saying it to us like we're going to relate. Juice. No one's going to agree with the egg juice. Everybody likes the egg juice. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you guys Especially like when it gets a little mold there on the yeah. top. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't believe we've read about a paragraph of the notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we've been recording. Because well, it's just bashing this lady who's going to yeah. die. Yeah, yeah this, it's, this, this is crazy. This article writer, he's a messy bitch. He, <laughs> he really, really is. Yeah, he's, got... he's insane. So she had never been a sexual person. She was probably asexual, but that just wasn't a thing back then. Sure, she wasn't attracted to this weird looking guy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple of freaks. That's true. Uh, And it says... uh, Were you wearing a hat this whole time? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) You and your fucking Rangers. You've been obsessed with... They lost today. They lost today. They did. What does that mean? Last minute. Um, oh no! It means we. I still have plenty of obsession. They okay. they lost one game in a longer series. Of when games. are we? When are you rid of this? <laughs> Hopefully they keep winning. Hopefully we get this, the cup. I'm tired of this. We being want part of your personality. I, I don't love, love it. I'm the person here that actually played hockey, and I'm like, oh my god, yeah. these fucking playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So she played in the boys' team. Okay. She did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. You would think you would be the biggest like feminist woman rah rah <laughs> equal to men and you're the first one to be like women nowhere near the boys let me tell you you literally played on a men's team for your entire high school career i was a goalie it was different you, it was different <laughs> she goes that i wasn't an athlete though you literally <laughs> played on the team it's all reflexes not straight yeah <laughs> no, I'm just I, I often think about this actually because when i was growing up i made the a team consistently and there was a boy that was my exact same age and he would make the b team for the same position that we were in and i was like wonder what he's up to now <laughs> I mean, these can't be alive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, that probably pissed him off so he much that life. the girl beat Did him out. Did people make fun of him for it? I don't think so. Oh, but they should have. <laughs> I should have done that. Yeah. I should have like idiot. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Good> loser. <laughs> fucking loser. Can't even stop a fucking puck. Uh, what are you a sieve? <laughs> Um, okay. I don't know what that means. A sieve means uh, it was from the, the movie Miracle um. because it like means like it just like falls through, like you know what I mean. A sieve is like a, a slit like and a, something and sand like falls hole. through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sifting? Sieve. So if you're a sieve, that means you're a bad goalie because everything just gets through you. Gets through, okay. yeah. Uh, there's a lot of hockey like terms. There are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't give a puck. Uh, <laughs> keep reading. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, no good. All right. All right. Fine. So uh, Dr. Crippen would later say <laughs> that <fucking> all. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dr. Crippen would later say that all physical 
relations between the two of them ceased in 1907, and everyone knows it's a wife's duty to get their husband off. So uh, that was according to him? That was according to the doctor? Uh, Yeah. And then, so meanwhile, he had fallen in love with someone else. Oh. But she's still the villain. Right. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) She's not blowing him. She's not. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well, my mom told me the best marriage advice was to never go a week without having sex, so... That's you good advice. Stay busy. That's yeah. healthy. It is, yeah. That's healthy. Also, I cannot believe my parents have had sex that much. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's insane. Yeah. Um, How often do you think your parents are having sex? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God, it's a ballpark. Now? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're like, right now. Do you think they're doing it? <laughs> right now as we speak? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's possible. It's, possible. <laughs> it's probably like a monthly occurrence. <laughs> That's think, not bad. You think that's too much? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's healthy. Yeah, but uh, they're, they're like fucking My dad's 70. 70. Yeah. Yeah. But he's he, the guy's live. He moves yeah. well. He's quick. <laughs> he's quick. Yeah. He's youthful. <laughs> he's quick. He's, he's a big and man. He's, yeah. he's got like a lifetime supply of Cialis too. He can just oh, oh, he self medicates for sure. Yeah. yeah, or can if he wants to. Yeah, that's ethical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not corrupt. I don't think it is. <laughs> no one thinks that. Yeah. Is. <laughs> ben, I'm not attacking you. Tell it to the courts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. This has been chaotic. Okay, so the object of his desire was this fucking whore. No, <laughs> no but maybe. I don't know. Maybe she's just let, I don't know. She's going after a married man. I don't That's like this bad. Mm-hmm. bitch. Uh, but her name was Ethel uh, Lay Nev. And Only time in history Ethel I was going to say. Hot young thing. Yeah, yeah. Ethel, yeah. the seamstress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was a typist that worked for him. Oh, my Ooh, God. A typist. That was probably, like, one yeah. of the big... Like kinks at the time, like we would yeah. type as a yeah. dress up like, like that for Halloween. The two yeah. hot yeah. Like, the flight attendant, typist, and then the girl that does the phone thing, the switchboard oh, girl. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that hot. girl was the hot. Yeah, <laughs> that's hot. That's a hot job. Yeah, <laughs> you know the phone switchboard. What would you say is that of our time, like nurses? I that's guess? what I was thinking. Like yeah, it's the yeah. equivalent. Whatever you dress up as a sexy blank for Halloween, right? It would uh, be like a sexy, sexy typist. cat. I guess everything. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, no, you do. Wait, nurse, librarian, okay. bunny. Why is it all animals? You're just doing it. <laughs> we're we really have a bestiality theme in this episode. I think for Halloween this year, I might dress up as Greggy, but like not like as a cat, like specifically Greg. What do you mean? Greg, like I'm gonna dress Greg up as a cat. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a cat for Halloween, but specifically I'm gonna be Greg. You're gonna be a specific. So cat. you're not gonna make it sexy. No, I'm just going to be Greg. Like a fluffy suit you're gonna wear. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's weird. I love it. You don't think that's you don't no, think I think that's it's amazing. amazing. Okay. I can't wait. All right. It's about start. time you stop being Marge for one minute. I know. I've been Marge for so long. I'll be Marge too. I'll be, it'll probably be two occasions. Yeah. Well, I mean I have mine, so You what? I have my party. Oh yeah, that's right. I yeah. didn't go this year. Where was I? I was somewhere else. And literally anywhere else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there either. Yeah. Mm. You're not a big party guy. No. You don't like Oh, you hate fun. You I don't like, fun. no, I like small get togethers. I don't like big parties. I get lost. Like, it's, my house is not that big. <laughs> but I don't get literally lost. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a GPS. He just goes to the bathroom. He's like, what the fuck <laughs> am I? <laughs> just trapped in the shower. <laughs> uh, no, I, I get it's like a lot of people, the feeling of like everyone's paired off in conversations and you're not in a conversation. And then how do you break through to one? That. That yeah. gets that even thinking about it now. Right. I hate loud parties. Okay. Loud is yeah. no good. Loud is no fair. good. No good. That's fair. You know what my thing is also? I have a certain amount of energy when I enter a party and it's okay. And then abruptly I, I fall off a cliff. Social battery is yeah. what we call that on TikTok. But it's not even. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you, you hit a wall. That's a stats. Yeah. But I, it happens. Battery. But is this, according to TikTok, is this a gradual process? Because I, I lose my energy like I, a yeah. moment happens and I'm like I have to get out of here I get that oh, too and I, that happens to me as well and like the common thing where it's like you're just like hanging out and then all of a sudden you just like hit a wall yeah you know? I do it like constantly my friends always joke about it like cause like we'll be like out and like I'll just have an Uber and I'll just get in the back like it's like I do th- I yep. just, I'm like I have to leave now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I get to a point where I'm like I no longer wish to be it's, a, it's over you. <laughs> it's over yeah, yeah. It's, it's over I'm, yeah. the exa- I'm such an extrovert such an, yeah. Uh, yeah I could be like at a party for way too long and I often am. Well, you often have conversations you don't recall. Yeah. <laughs> often. Yeah. Really. I'm the star of conversations I don't recall. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Um, back to the story. So, she was a typist that worked for him and about the same time that she st- he stopped having sex with his wife, um, they became lovers. So, you know. He had a Man's got up. news. Yeah. I guess. 
And it continued until 1910, so about three years or so. So mm-hmm. on the evening of Monday, the 31st of January, 1910, the Crippens threw a dinner party for two close friends of Bell's, um, a couple named Paul and Clara Martinetti. And the Italians. Italians, yeah. <laughs> Never, nothing ever good comes from them. They're going to kill them. They're suspects, <laughs> let me tell you that. <laughs> So the meal passed pleasantly enough, except for one Mm. incident. So Paul had asked to use the toilet, and because Crippen didn't escort him upstairs to show him where it was, Bell berated him. Well, they just ripping on Bell. I I know it's It's Bell's fault. It's all Bell's fault. Well, she shouldn't be yelling at her husband, (laughs) (laughs) and she sucked at singing and dancing and acting (laughs) and beeches and beeches. We wouldn't even know. She refused (laughs) to have sex. She did. (laughs) We should be having more dinner parties. I would love that. I I like that. I like that. I think that's like a perfect, the perfect hang. I absolutely love cooking dinner for people. It's like yet we refuse to allow you to do it. I know. It's I. (laughs) I have asked this of you guys for so many times. Been begging us for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've definitely had a few. Yeah, we've had a few. Friendsgivings. Friendsgivings. Yeah, I made tacos today for the girls. That was fun. Nice. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Well. Some corn. I just don't get Elote. excited for food. Li- <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get super detailed. Yeah. Cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> 450 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> Pickled onions. You and these onions. She's going get crazy back to the for the story. That's her Rangers. Story. What, the pickled onions? <laughs> the pickled She's onions. in game seven with, yeah. the, with the onions. I made my own pickled onions. I literally, I haven't, I've been thinking about them the whole time we've been podcasting. Like About the pickled onions. Yeah, they're mm. so good and they just get better and better. Like you just leave them there and they just get better. More pickled. Every day. They get more pickled every day. It's amazing. Hmm. Wow. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So by the time the Martinettis uh, finally looked back to the story abruptly, when they left, um, it was about 1 a.m. on Monday, the 1st of February. So it would be the last time that anybody saw Belle alive. Thank Yikes. God. <laughs> <laughs> so over the next week or so, people began to ask where Belle was. And, uh, so she had friends. Uh, I'm sure Belle was perfectly nice. <laughs> this is just for I'm sure reason. she was the Belle of the ball. Come on. Nah, you see that Sip. picture? Kind of <laughs> <laughs> that picture, I don't know about that. But, well, she was a Liberty Bell. That's the shape of her. Uh, <laughs> there she is again. <laughs> there she is again. Oh. Okay. So Dr. Crippen said that she had gone to America. Um, and as the days passed, the story was amended. And that then now, all of a sudden, she had fallen ill. So finally, uh, the doctor told people that his wife had passed away. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> she's in America. She's ill. She's wet. Like, What's happening right now? Um, there was, however, one problem with this. So Ethel, his mistress, had started wearing some of Belle's jewelry. Mm. And mm-hmm. by the end of February, she had moved in with the doctor at the Hill Drop Crescent. So what? Place. That same month? Yes. Oof. Talk about a freaking mod on. That's huh? a mod on. Um, so friends obviously grew suspicious and drew, um, and, and in due course, those suspicions were passed on to the police. Like, yo, <laughs> this lady is dead. Ooh. Obviously. She would have so, said goodbye to somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So July 8th. So this is like five months afterwards. Oof. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, like back then, the police would be like, a man said nothing happened to her. <laughs> this case is closed. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So July 8th, uh, Chief Inspector Walter Drew called um, at Hilltrop, Hill, Hill Drop Crescent, uh, where he found Ethel alone. The doctor, it seems, was at work. So, um, he, so he visited him there, and the two returned together to the house where Crippen, uh, the doctor, happily showed the officer around the house. Uh, he also told, um, he al- he told the officer a different story. So Bell had left him for another man all of a sudden. Oh. Almost certainly a guy named Bruce Miller, an American she had met late in 1903. So uh, the officer told the doctor that it would be better if Bell contacted him to confirm the story. Obviously. And the doctor said uh, that he would place an advertisement in certain newspapers asking her to make contact. That's so funny that you can't just yeah, like... Right. Wait. The doctor said he was going to place an ad? Yeah. Being like, please call us. Everyone thinks I fucking killed you. Oh. 
That would be the craziest gone girl. It'd be so easy to gone girl back then. Oh, the fact that anybody got caught for a crime is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> it's, is. It's humiliating. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. I mean, it's I don't know what police work were they doing. <laughs> Just yep, going up hunch. Definitely stabbed. The knife is in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, that you would have to be caught in the act. Literally in the act. Even then. All you would have is the one person being like, oh, he did it. I mean, yeah, they're like, judging. Yeah, I'll just kill you then. Every yeah. trial was just vibes. Just like, vibes. The jury had to be like, vibes. yeah, I don't like the cut of their jib. Yeah. yeah. A lot of biases. Yeah. 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 Oi. Okay. Oof. So, anyway, so things now moved quickly. So the next day on uh, July 9th, the doctor shaved off his distinctive mustache and with Ethel um, disguised as a boy. So Ethel now was dressing like a boy, um, and traveled to Brussels. Why was she dressing like a boy? As a disguise. Why? Because they didn't want the cops to know they were leaving. <gasps> was he in disguise? Oh, he shaved off his mustache. He shaved, he shaved off, off the mustache. mustache. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, Still what are you going to do about those eyes? eyes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take this away. Um, so they bought tickets for passage to Canada, traveled um, on to Antwerp and then were boarded onto the SS Montrose traveling as father and son. So weird. That's really cool. Why not daughter? Uh, yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Also, how much younger is this broad? Yeah, it's, it's a little boy. Yeah. Yeah, a little boy? Yeah. That's weird. Seems like he just wanted her to be a little boy. That's little upsetting, boy. yeah. Yeah. Let's dig into that. Unpack that a bit. <laughs> well, he's not the villain of this story. Apparently, it's his wife yeah, that he yeah. killed. <laughs> Why did Mel Bell so selfishly leave that prompted this other woman to pretend to be a boy for her husband? I don't know. It's fucking. She was rude. selfish. That Bell. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so about the same time, Chief Inspector Do, um, so the guy that was at their house, returned to the house, um, and he was surprised to find Doctor and Ethel missing, and decided mm. to make another routine search of the house in the cellar. He noticed some loose bricks on the floor. So officers were ordered in to make a more thorough search. And beneath all those bricks, they found the remains of a body. Oh, okay. So the, bo- <laughs> <laughs> the body was headless. No. Okay. Limbless. Limbless. And <laughs> it didn't even boneless. exist. Boneless. <laughs> boneless. There was no weird. body. There was no body. <laughs> 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 How boneless! Found, what the was fuck? It, did you? Were you not? That wasn't a bit. You didn't add that on. So no, what no, was no. It? it literally is boneless. It's just a skin, skin and organ? skin of a just torso. Skin. Ew. Yeah, like like those ads that would be like, "Don't do drugs," and they like deflate it onto the oh, couch. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> those were terrifying. Those were. Okay. And I was like, I'm still gonna do drugs. Though. I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks <laughs> sick. Yeah, it <laughs> looks <laughs> sick. <laughs> I'm gonna do drugs all the time, probably, and then I did. Um. <laughs> Boy, do I not feel good today? That's what you said. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I think I'm getting oh, sick. God. I think you're just hungover. Oh yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I have to do stand up for my health. Otherwise, it's like yeah, you need an obstacle go off the road. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Something um, to do. Yeah, I had somebody. I had someone visiting in town, and that is disastrous. You can't do that. Because <laughs> you have to. You have to go. Exactly. You have yeah. to treat them to a time. Right. And next yeah. thing you know, you're at fucking Tao on shrooms. I don't think everybody does that. <laughs> <laughs> to, just to be fair. <laughs> That was really fun. Also, the food was delicious. Can I just say that? that was kind of, yeah, kind of it really food? was. It's like Asian food. It's like oh, okay. Asian fusion. It was so good. Was Melissa Wood Health there? No, I was looking. I wish. <laughs> um, it was really good. And we were laughing so much because we were on mushrooms. But uh. also but also because the food was Were you the one that told the story of Melissa Wood Health and how the, they ended up together, her and Tao? That yes. was you saying that story, right? That, yes. Please tell the... T- so Melissa Wood Health is like this healthy guru blogger. That, right. Uh, and she does a bunch of workouts that like you're literally going like this yeah, for like 10 like, <laughs> All right, ladies. Now feel that burn. Let's do it. Yeah. And you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> and she, really, she's like, oh, you could look like me if you if you do this every day. I'm like, bitch, yeah. you do not eat food. <laughs> like that. We're, you're not fooling anybody, but she's very pretty and uh, whatever. So she's like this health and wellness person, but she will like do things like in front of her <laughs> in front of her like tennis court in the Hamptons and be like you too can manifest things and it's like bitch <laughs> just believe you, in yourself <laughs> you were a bottle service woman at yeah. Tao and uh-huh. then you fucked the owner of Tao right. and are now married to him and the story wow. was that like he had like these girls that always bought him around and then the, that she tells it like it's a romantic story that he picked me <laughs> but how do you know she didn't manifest it yeah. <laughs> I mean, she definitely she did. She definitely did. Honestly, She's not full of shit. It's people like that that it's like, I guess you have to believe that that's a thing then. Yeah. I guess. I mean, she's killing it. She's killing it. 
She, she seems to have a great life. Everything she wants. Well, becomes... I think any, not any, a lot of successful people make the narrative after the fact that this was destiny. Like, this yeah. was always right. going to yeah, happen. Yeah. I you think know? it, it helps. That's why a lot of them turn to religion, too, where it's like, I guess that's why I'm here. Right. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Well, that feels more like a, I've got every thing I ever wanted and yet I feel still feel some emptiness uh, maybe right yeah more. that's what yeah. I think yeah. yeah I have a fucking a tennis court in the Hamptons and I'm still kind of bummed yeah, yeah. and then what do I do I play for 20 right. minutes and, I'm, and then what would, what yeah. that I, sounds very nice. I contemplate suicide that sounds very nice she's sober is she mm-hmm. got sober it's exhausting boring bitch <laughs> <laughs> I actually love her I really love her and she's got a great fashion too <laughs> hmm. okay so, anyway, there's like little more, there's like pieces of flesh basically, but it oh. was female. They knew that. I don't know how. I'm like, was it just like a vagina? <laughs> Titties. Titties, yeah. Mm. Yikes. Yikes. I don't like that. Yikes. I don't like, how do you always end up with these stories where it's just a skin bag in the floor? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my first skin bag. I did have the torsos. That was fun. Yeah, we've yeah. done torsos. Torsos. Yeah, two torsos. Mm -hmm. Both mm -hmm. in mass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember, what, was that you, Jeanette De Palma? That that ritual one, yeah, that, that was, was me. Yeah. That, that was, was my upsetting episode. too, yeah. right? Yeah, I liked it though. It was fun. Oh my god, you didn't think it was fun? I mean, I I never am like, boy, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> really? Oh, I enjoy it. Um, <laughs> okay, so aboard the mon so now they're like on the search for this dude because they're like obviously this guy fucking killed his wife. This has got to be his wife, right? Who else would this be? So aboard the Mont Rose, this is the ship that they're on. The father and son, uh, the doctor and his mistress, were watching. Uh, were watched with interest they seem to be by whom i don't know uh it says they seem to be unduly affectionate oh so oh. like people were probably oh, like, people were like fuck? why is that father and son got it yeah, yeah why yeah. are they fucking yeah. so they, <laughs> they were constantly holding hands and adding In that public. <laughs> <laughs> uh the boy's clothing seemed to be very ill-fitting i'm like so people notice that much they're like that guy's got like maybe they're fucking but also what's up with that shirt yeah <laughs> 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 He needs a new tailor now. and a new boyfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Captain Kendall had had his suspicions and telegraphed a message to Scotland Yard. So that's like the captain of the boat was like, hmm, this father and son. Yeah. <laughs> need to like stop the captain be looking out for icebergs and shit. <laughs> 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 Captains be judging. <laughs> so now uh, the police officer that was at the house now determined to intercept the father and son, quote unquote, boarded um, a faster ship, the SS Laurentic. And the hunt was on. So now they're trying to catch up to that other ship and be like, you're not going to America. We're getting you off this boat. Mm. So Sunday on the 31st. Dramatic. Of, yeah. So this should be a movie. Yeah. Uh, how is it not? I know, right? So Sunday the 31st Rami of July. Malik would be perfect. Rami Malik. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, Good call. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy's weird looking. Oof, oof. And a weird little voice too. Yeah. Kind of talks about this, no. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Talk Did like not this. deserve that Oscar. No, no. he lip synced. It yeah. wasn't even talent. Yeah, it was bad. People was just like karaoke. when it's a person that you know, and it's like, whoa, that's well, he's a great doing imitation. The thing. He's doing yeah. it. I know, it. but it's harder to create a character. That movie was bad. Can it wasn't a that? good movie. The, movie was corny. I, the way that they yeah. came up with the music and they're like, wait, oh what my if god, we what shook if the corn uh, plates? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I feel something. That's it. I guess this is the also literally when you find out he has AIDS, coughing blood into a napkin, and that's it. That's like the biggest cliche cliche ever and then they never mentioned it again also there was not enough sex not nearly enough sex not enough drugs not enough drugs and they weren't honest about him being not that great of a guy he wasn't that great of a guy see I don't, I don't even know I think oh the, with the parents the corniness there there's no way that's oh, exactly yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened yeah. yeah well it was clearly done by the other band members because there was a lot of it attention a loving, to, to it yeah. being like it was a real team hey. yeah. yeah that movie blew um, I did not like it I didn't care for the performance because it wasn't a performance right. it wasn't an oscar winning it was a triumph. <laughs> it was a triumph it was a revelation <laughs> i felt um, the same goddamn way about leo's oscar win by the one not that one That's no that was a one. that was a career that was, that was a just because they, he was do, just because he did a spartan race on film like you're gonna he was just breathing yeah <laughs> he was just breathing heavy nah. he was just cold it wasn't impressive yeah no Wolf of Wall I Street, that that's, a that's a performance. That's a performance. That's an Oscar winning performance. Yeah. That was good. I actually really liked him in Django, too. That was yes, I watched Django. that recently, yeah. Django. Yeah. It's good. 
Wow. We could have seen Blood Diamond uh, <laughs> over. <laughs> Every night before we went to sleep at... There was and one before. DVD at Max's, at Kathy's house at Rogue Island that was <laughs> randomly Blood Diamond. He was like, we didn't watch it once. He would just turn to us and be like, guys, if we head home now, now we can catch most of Blood Diamond before bed. That was so funny. So the officer now is boarding the ship, okay? So they've, they've caught up to the ship, and uh, the father and son were identified as the doctor and Ethel, and then they were both arrested. <gasps> so after three weeks on... Um, they were escorted back to England. Why three weeks? I don't know. Uh, they were escorted back to England to face trial. <laughs> Probably had to find a ship. Everything was so much harder. Oh, yeah. yeah. If I were the police officer, I'd be like, hey, forget it. Yeah. What are we going to do? Fucking book them? That's what I was saying. I'd be like, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to go like, get on this ship, try to catch up with the Like, come on. Yeah. Just, just it go. also is like I mean, dramatic, was... but also the ships are probably moving so slow. <laughs> 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 they're just on the front. That's it's true. barely moving. <laughs> So, also, there's nothing else to do. It makes sense that they're like really into catching people because it's like you can't catch your shows. There's no stranger no, things. No, you like, can't even fucking. You can't watch TikTok. Nothing. What are they supposed to watch a fucking book? I guess they're supposed to watch a fucking <laughs> book. <laughs> the art of the deal hadn't even come out yet. <laughs> it's a great May joke. Uh, it is a great May joke. <laughs> and someone I don't know why I just picked a straw man there. <laughs> yeah, Stop that is. saying yeah. it's not a great joke. A lot of people say it's not a good joke, and I don't agree with them when they say it. <laughs> a lot of those people were in Atlantic City when I told that joke to Silence. Oh, so. that's They didn't good... like that joke there? No. They hated everything about me, honestly. Yeah. Oh. We got to stop with the tangent. Just speed yeah. read through the rest All right, of I'm so this. sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not your fault. So it was decided okay. that the... <laughs> okay. It was decided that the pair should not be tried together, so the doctor would face his trial first, and then once that verdict verdict had been determined, then Ethel would take um, her turn on the dock and be tried as an accessory. Wow. So um, in October, Crippen stood alone um, at the dock of Old Bailey what the fuck? before the Lord Chief Justice of England, Lord Elverstone. That was the most uh, British uh, sentence yeah. I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And then they la- the proceedings lasted four days. That's really short, actually. Um so his defense was pretty simple, though. So the body found in the cellar of his home was not Bell's. The body must have been to some poor, unknown woman and been placed there before he and Mel- Bell had moved in. It was, therefore, a crucial to prosecution to prove that the body was Bell's. So one piece of the flesh found in the shallow grave had borne a scar. Um, and medical records showed that Bell had a scar on her lower abdomen. So more conclusive was the fact that the remains had been wrapped in pajama jacket in a pajama jacket and a tag inside the jacket led to the manufacturer's Jones brothers. Um, they confirmed that this particular cloth and pattern were not issued until late 1908. So it had to be after they moved in, basically. Uh, um, medical records. That's pretty well, advanced. Well, actually, this is good police work. Yeah, it is. Uh, so the body obviously was there after the date. And then the scar was consistent with her scar. So they're like, well, that's her. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. So, so med- there goes his case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. So medical tests had shown that the flesh c- contained traces of hyoscine, a poison. Mm. And it was known that the doctor had purchased five grains of that substance on two weeks before Bell advanced. They were tracking stuff. Yeah. Good. They were good. They were good. So it was enough for the jury who took under 30 minutes to say, yeah, guilty. Good for and, them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> under 30 minutes is really That's not great. Much. Yeah. They just walk in there and go. I mean, yeah, come on. on. (laughs) That's insane. So um, later in October, Ethel was put on trial as the accessory to murder and found not guilty, which I'm like, okay, but he, she did. Yeah, but that's probably hard to prove. Right. That's true. But I mean, she was trying to like run away with him. I would be like, bitch. She probably was right. She, well, maybe she didn't know. Nah, she knew. She She knew. knew. She knew. Yeah. She finally got to do that little boy fantasy of hers. Yeah. (laughs) Wishing for (laughs) little boy Uh. typist. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, on uh, November Shakespeare play, right? <laughs> <laughs> little boy, little boy, no, little I think it's one of the Harry Potter fucking things. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Nine little boy type. Little boy type. It kind of works. <laughs> so, uh, forty-eight years old, Doctor Crippen, later, uh, like a month afterwards, basically was hanged. Ooh, for the crime. Yes. yes. Not just for kicks. <laughs> <laughs> His you know, last request had been for a photograph of Ethel and some of her letters to be buried with him in his unmarked grave. Oh, oh. Is he trying to like save face. I. I mean, no, of Ethel, like this is his mistress, oh, not his wife. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought you meant the wife. Um, this guy's like, like, listen, this lady fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, yeah. she got me wrapped around her finger. Yeah, this lady, for sure. <laughs> the Dyson three thousand Glock, Glock. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. That's vulgar. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> That's horrifying. She gave him the sloppy topic. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. 
Um, the Nothing request- mad? <laughs> <laughs> Are we just doing Britishism? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the grant was the request was granted though, so that's sweet. They're like, yeah, you can have you'd be littered in your whores' letters. Yeah, mm. good luck. <laughs> um, in your <laughs> <laughs> so some people, um, so some people think that he still killed his wife. Other people don't think that that actually was his wife. People think it was just a, a skin bag that was left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Correct. Why? Why? I don't know. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. Everything that we're saying is like, wow, these people are doing police work. Back then, you could also just like imagine. Maybe they just created proving a, good story. a police lie. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh it's wait, like, sorry, I didn't read this part. I didn't read any of this before I just came onto this podcast that twist. we're doing. Um, <laughs> this is a breaking news twist live on air. There was some documentary that then tested all of the the remaining matter with DNA, and um, basically, this person said the body. I, I don't really care one way or not whether the body is Cora Crippen's, blah, blah, blah. What do you say? Um, shit, I'm reading the wrong part of it. Uh, I think the body is not... So they tested it and they found that it was not Cora Crippen's. Oh, my oh whoa. What? Wait. Hmm. And Cora is Bell, if people are... Yeah, yeah, Cora is Bell, sorry. So we first mentioned that three hours ago when we started recording. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then... Other people say it is like it's being disputed essentially. So the question is whether or not she was the one who was killed. It's not yeah. about okay. So that's all right. That's it, interesting. Yeah, it sounds like one of the forensic doctors is a uh, genealogy is saying that it's indisputably a male corpse and not a female. Oh corpse. my oh. gosh! Wow. And thank then, you, Irish. <laughs> thank you, Irish. <laughs> and then another point. It looks like there's a, a guy James Crippen who's like a second cousin three times removed of uh dr crippen and he's trying to exonerate him and i guess he's like part of his point is like uh as a toxicologist he's puzzled by the fact that like if he poisoned the person to kill him he's like why would he mutilate the corpse because typically right. it's people who poison want it to look like a natural death uh, yeah so true but why That's, would he run away it's true i guess he probably felt like maybe she did run away and he was like well i'm getting a bunch of heat obviously people think i killed my wife and i didn't so i'm just trying to run away you know Okay, but that's tough. No, I agree, but like, I don't know. I mean, also because police work is so shoddy back then, they're just like, yeah, it seems like you did it. And then yeah. you, like you're I mean, risking your, case. it's either you run away and get away with that or you're hanged, essentially. The, 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 the counterpoint would be surgeons are almost always serial killers. Mm -hmm. How yeah. often does that happen where it's like an unsolved serial killer or like murderer and it's like surgical cuts yeah. and there's always a doctor two doors down that like, it was like, like he was definitely a killer. Right. Just do a sloppier job if you're going to kill somebody. Yeah. Otherwise, pretend like yeah. you're not. They're, they're yeah. so egotistical. They have to they do it. They have perfect. to yeah. do it. Yeah. Perfect little. Yeah. I don't have, know why I did stitches. They probably didn't stitch. Have you guys yeah. listened to that podcast, Dr. Death? No. No. Oh my God. It's so good. That was huge. Yeah. Huge. I um, This guy basically was like botching these surgeries. Like he like was like cosplaying as a surgeon essentially and then he would go in and he wasn't just, a real surgeon i mean he was like he got degrees but like barely mm. and then he was just botching people and like paralyzing people and all this crazy shit and i think somebody ended up dying how did, was he allowed to get away with it for yeah, some when because he kept going to different hospitals and apparently the hospitals don't like talk to each other so he was just like applying at other hospitals and he he, he did this at like four different hospitals it's, it's the craziest podcast everyone did listening to purpose? this should go listen to that <laughs> That's up for debate. So some people think that he's just like a serial killer and just like enjoys fucking people up. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Like seeing like what foot buttons that are wrong. Mm -hmm. Just having push. the power. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And there was all these doctors that were trying to whistle blow on him like for so long because they were like, I was in that surge, like in that room and being like, what the fuck is he doing? And he would just like paralyze people, literally. Mm. It was the craziest story. Wild. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. Almost we could do one on Would have been actually. a better episode. <laughs> <laughs> You hated this episode? No, this was good. No, this was fun. Okay. I mean, we were all over the place. So, sure. I mean, the yeah. question is whether or not this doctor did it. Yeah. Or, honestly, whether or not Belle even died. Even died. Right. Well, I mean, she's not alive right now, obviously. Probably it's not, been sure. Like well, years. she sounds like a pill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the author of this article believed that he did it. No, Definitely I don't think not. so, no. yeah. Or if they did, they're a terrible they're, person. They're hiding it yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Well, if the remains are male, then they're male, but like... 
So then what's the conclusion? What did maybe he killed somebody else? Maybe he killed somebody killed else. Somebody maybe else. she and killed somebody and then eyes. she left. Oh, she framed him for somebody else's murder. Pretty brilliant. That's, That's actually brilliant. Amazing. Yeah. And she always it wanted sounds to... like her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That is so her, yeah. bro. That is so her. <laughs> And she always wanted to be a star. It didn't work out. Right. Yep. This would be like one last dramatic flourish. Yeah, right, right, right. People in entertainment are psychos. Oh, they're <laughs> disgusting people. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't know any of them. Anyway, yeah. follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please do. Please follow us on Instagram. Follow please. us on Instagram and listen to the pod and review. Rate review, and review. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Share. Yes, it. tell your friends. Please. Tell your parents. Tell your parents. Tell your parents. Tell your tell your siblings. Yeah. Tell your four year old child. Yeah. Make your children <laughs> listen to this. Book. <laughs> this is appropriate for school children. All right. We've had. All right. Bye. Bye. bye.